Okay, champs, today we've got a 1973 Gibson L5S. It is the, uh, it's Gibson solid body L5. Uh, the weight on this guitar is nine pounds, 12 ounces. The neck on this, uh, I don't know if Gibson has a technical term on it. We kind of decided it was a, you know, 70s style wide flat neck. It starts out very thin up at the top and then it gets pretty chunky at the 12th fret. The neck personality changes as you go up higher. Yes, it does. I'll give you guys the caliper measurements. So the nut width is 1.70 inches, and the depth at the first fret is 0.79 inches, and the depth at the 12th fret is 0.98 inches. It has a ebony fingerboard. Uh, the pickups on this are Gibson's low impedance uh, recording style pickups. That, um, I mean, Les Paul used the recording style pickups a lot. Work really, really well with clean tone. I imagine we're gonna hear some distortion tone on this to hear how it sounds distorted as well. Um, gosh, a very, very interesting guitar. It's all maple. Um, you know, we were talking about this. You'd expect this thing to be a light guitar, you know, because of how small it is, but it's actually, it's chunky. Pretty substantial. Pretty substantial, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's right in there with Les Pauls. Okay, yep. yeah. Should we hear it? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with the neck pickup clean on this. Yeah. definition on oh, yeah. this. Okay, here's the pickup, the both pickups. And bridge. Oops. Okay. We'll it definitely just clean the way it's supposed to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I wish I did clean the way I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do it great. <laughs> so here's the um, here's the here's the bridge pickup. Uh, just kind of an overdrive sound. Yeah. Both pickups. Mm to refer to as Mondo. Mondo. <laughs> Yeah, it actually handles distortion really well. Yeah. 
Yeah, it does. All it's right. Cool. <laughs> Give this one a seven and a half out of 10. It's got some scratches. It's got some dings. It's got some tarnish to the uh, gold hardware. It's got some wear in the back and it's got a little bit of finish checking throughout. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, we can absolutely see the, uh, the tarnish on the gold hardware. And we'll keep scrolling through. I mean, we've just got scratches, like I said, some finish checking. Uh, it's an old guitar. Wonderful guitar though. Okay. And you know, just scrolling through here, like I said, we can just see all kinds of just kind of light scratches, dings. Okay, nice ebony fingerboard. We do have just a little bit of wear on those frets. I'll get up close and show you guys. Just a tiny bit of wear, nothing bad at all. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And then the nut on this was replaced. It looks like it was replaced with maybe a bone nut. I can kind of show you guys up close so you can see where the nut was replaced. Did a decent job, the guitar plays well. And the front of the headstock, yeah, it's just got some light scratches as you would expect, scratches, dings. Yeah. And let's get this thing flipped over. Ugh. Okay, back of the headstock. Serial number is 115139, there's your Made in USA. Back of the headset looks really good. Got a massive volute. No cracks, no uh, repairs, none of that. Just a nice, clean, very large volute. Back of the neck is good. Okay, let's see the back of the guitar. Like I said earlier, the back of the guitar, it's got some wear on the back, but it's the back of the guitar. Cool. Well, there you have it on that one. <laughs>